LA Galaxy 2, LAFC 2, a California MLS Next Pro battle. In the box for Galaxy 2. Castle Picasso fires and got it. Top of the box, centers, another goal. LAFC. You've obviously had a first hand look at this rivalry as you're the commentator for LA Galaxy. How would you describe El Trafico? Supercharged. Nothing like an El Trafico. People get intense about it. So uh, um, you never shortchange it, and never I do, and you become very respectful for it. How do you think the rivalry between these two MLS teams will trickle down to their affiliate teams and MLS Next Pro? I think it's going to take on the same nature that we've seen in these electric derbies between the senior teams. It's going to be reflected at MLS Next Pro. And these players take on the ethos of their team. The Galaxy want their younger players to be aware of that winning tradition, be aware of this culture of being the best team in Major League Soccer. The teams that are playing are going to feel the weight of that. I, I don't have any doubt about it. And if they win, they'll be exalted. If they lose, they'll be disappointed for days. So I mean, while you don't want to put too many expectations because it's the first, uh, I think you kind of have to because the expectations come with that. What are LA Galaxy 2's strengths? I think identity. It starts with Marcelo Sarvis. It starts with his connection to the senior team with Craig Vanny. This team has a style, an ethos, if you will, in the way they want to play, the way they approach the game, the way they build out. It's a possession-oriented style. that They want to play progressive soccer. They want to be on the front foot. And you hear that a lot, and a lot of that is just a lot of talk, but they really put the rubber to the road. The strengths that they are affiliated with with this club, and that brings so many positives. Uh, we're here at the Performance Center, they train a lot across the way, but so many times they will scrimmage with the LAFC squad, uh, they'll get the coaching from uh, this incredible staff led by Steve Trunlo. So I think they benefit a lot from that, uh, and I think, you know, we see them here, they, they are aware of that extra layer that they get being part of this team and being, having these resources. So I think that's a, a big advantage. What do you think LA Galaxy 2 needs to do to win this game on July 12th? I think they need to match the intensity. It goes up a level, it's ratcheted up a notch. If they can match that energy of LAFC 2 because this is an LAFC 2 team, like the senior team, that likes to play fluid attacking, energized football, if you will. If they can match that intensity, win their individual battles, stay organized at the back, not concede, and give themselves an opportunity to hang in and weather that early storm, then they give themselves a chance to really get on the front foot and take three points, and that no doubt is what they want most. I think just be very smart defensively, uh, connect the lines very well, and then see if they can get those goals. They have the guys that can do that, and maybe that's the time where it all breaks through. You should have fun, but be serious about uh, the opportunity that you have uh, wearing the LAFC colors and playing such a big game.